in the opening paragraph of the Declaration of Independence, it says, in the course of human events, when it becomes necessary for one people to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. You see the shift that takes place? This is new. And only Americans believe this at the time. So what this means is we don't need the consent of any other nation. We hope they, they you know, support us. And we're going to try to persuade them that we should be free and independent, we Americans. But we don't need their consent. We are entitled to be a country and have, therefore have sovereignty by these things called the laws of nature and nature's God. This is the way God wants it. <laughs> he wants peoples to be free to decide for themselves whether they want to be their, their own independent country and therefore exercise sovereignty. So that's a, that's, a new, that's a new idea that Americans introduce. And it's a pretty radical statement at the time, as I was saying, no other people in the world believe that except Americans. But it very quickly caught on. The French tried to do this, although it didn't quite work out for them. But I will point you to the sort of revolutions that take place in, in Latin America. In Central America, uh, the Caribbean, in the early 1800s, where a lot of peoples are throwing off the Spanish, uh, their colonial overlords in the Spanish, and saying, we don't need anybody's consent to become independent and sovereign. We are en entitled to these things by, by God and, and the laws of nature.